Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. <clears throat> Rad here from Rad Kutzarat and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019. Finally we are going into that year. And so once again while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you that this is just a, a general reading and therefore the, uh, the resonance with it uh, will differ to every single one of us in our personal situations. Uh, if you want a, a personal reading, uh, then that it, that could happen by you checking out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that set aside, <clears throat> going into the tarot spread, this is going to be a five card tarot spread. And uh, the first card here, it will be the death card, which falls into a, a topic of the month position. Second card that is going to be regarding, just let me put the cards a little bit so I can fit them in the frame here. Um, the second card is regarding the intentions that one needs to have or what is the best course of action here, four of swords. The third card is about the challenges which are causing predicaments, the strength card. The, the fourth card that will be the guidance that Tsaro is offering which is going to be the six of cups and the last card here that will be the final outcome which is the eight of wands. So, uh, <clears throat> This is going to be an, an uh, enhanced spread, and the uh, the spread is done through the methods through the method, excuse me, of elemental dignities, and we are to pull additional cards into the spread, additional cards in their positions. So uh, just to overview those cards, it does look like that a major things are to shift through the month of. Uh, <clears throat> of January. Things which are going to serve you Aries is a, a great purpose. Things which are going to basically make your things much easier and are to improve your circumstances in a very big way. However, these also shifts and these changes which are to happen with your life and with your undertakings are to piss off some people and that is seen over here in this side of the reading. However, we are going to go there in just a minute. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the positions themselves so the death card into the grand topic of the month it does the death card itself as everybody knows that is a change and uh, I will kind of quote a sentence about the card and the sentence says what is change if it is not one thing starts to live when um, <clears throat> another th another another thing life is ended and what is life if it is not a, a death pending. So uh, this refers to that everything is a turnover and especially for those who are experiencing until this very moment a, a quite stagnated life, you know, they have been in a very poignant situation in either their career, their relationship or even in both places. Now the things are to change dramatically and a newness is to come and uh, be embarked into their lives, you know. But again with the death card a sacrifice needs to be made. What I mean is that death comes around to take away what is no longer serves a purpose in our life even if we don't even know it yet, alright? Usually refers to a habit, usually refers to a way we do things and etc etc and when it's taken away another life or another thing takes its, takes its place. So it's kind of like a change through replacement, not a change through addition. Very, very important. The additional card here, that is going to be the Two of Wands, which kind of adds a, a different color to the change. It does point that we are in a place of choosing what to change into our lives because the, uh, the Two of Wands interacts with the dead as diminishes the negative impact of the card of unpredictable change, giving it a... Um, <clears throat> 
giving it giving it a, a color color that we can actually direct the energy of which we want to incorporate into our life so we can make a necessary change therefore uh, we can choose what specific field of our life uh, or the, of our lives we could actually um, make difference at either career or either relationship again uh, if you want to change your line of work it seems the January it's the very good um, way to do or the very very potent time to do it same things is about relationships if you want to for example jump into the very next level of one relationship or just to break your relationship or just to start a new relationship you know things can happen but the thing with the two of wands is that you will be able to navigate that change areas if you have the patience here to investigate and reconnoiter the means and the circumstances upon that, that change is most likely to happen. Again, one uh, navigates their lives by knowing what is forth and how to overcome it and how to manipulate it. So you have to manipulate the circumstances that are surrounding these times of change in your life. The second card here that we do have that is to be the Four of Swords, which is the most um, accurate way how you can approach <clears throat> the change, which uh, kind of makes uh, so much sense now as the Two of Wands fall he uh, uh, fell here under the influence of the Death card, and now the Strength card again kind of like... Uh, adopts even deeper meaning. So what the Four of Swords here points is that you should aim to make that, uh, to alter and opt those uh, times of change or kind of like, you know, those um, attempts for you to improve your circumstances. I will no longer say a change, but I will say it improving or attempts of improving your circumstances, that you are to have support through your development with a, a mental support as well under mental support I mean people who are capable to guide you with advice with experience and etc etc and on top of that you should opt to uh, to exert uh, those attempts to improve your circumstances in those fields which you are facing less predicaments at that it is very very important because with the four of swords when one has it as an intention it has to alter that specific field of their life career relationship or maybe both where they're feeling most comfortable at, where they're feeling that they're in most of control like they they kind of have a ultimate it's not even ultimate control it is more like you know uh, an opportunity to call the shots <clears throat> now with the four of uh, swords here as well it is very important where you keep the good terms with other people and as well uh, kind of like avoid uh, specific wrangles but it is the most important thing with this card is that you listen what those more experienced than you can uh, can offer you as a guidance the nine of cups next to the four of swords here as a, a circumstantial card this is something that gives it color it does mean that you are to discover you know that you have so big potential and the more you discover the more you will want to learn what I, uh, about how can be achieved because the, the nine of cups it's about uh, a fortune giving you uh, how can i place it really a fortune, the fortune itself is, is to give you uh, its blessings. So you are to realize how big potential you do really have. Something that you did not realize until this very moment. Potential to be loved, potential to be with someone, you know, potential to further your development into your career and etc, etc. And someone here opened your eyes. And through that opening of eyes, you are to start improving your circumstances through sacrificing outdated standpoints, outdated um, uh, performances as well and approaches to one enterprise to adopt the new ones which this time around are to give you the means necessary in order for you to improve yourself big time. However, what are the predicaments that you may face? Strength card, it does point 
the patience all right so because you now just imagine it that you know you had your time of stagnation or time of uh, of uh, limbo where nothing really interesting happening around you and uh, uh, it's kind of like or even if there are things happening uh, they didn't seem that important for your well-being and now suddenly you know you find that niche that you so much wanted to be happy into your into your relationship life to be successful into your career and you become uh you you boost your temper through it you know i mean you become quite temperamental and you want things to happen straight away overnight with the snap of your fingers and um on top of that, uh, it does look like with this card that you will aim to satisfy everybody as well. And that is a predicament. Very important. First thing, you, I need to draw one more card here. That is going to be the Seven of Swords. So I will put it like this so you can see the uh, Strength card. So the first thing here is to realize that good things are happening slow. Good things are happening through constant nurturing and developing. Uh, like a... Uh, Likewise, I like to say one thing is to achieve something completely different story is to sustain it. The sustainability is the true virtue of one's succession or of one's success for that matter. Therefore, here with the Seven of Swords, we are seeing a tenacious or unyielding drive, but yet very patience drive. First of all, you should uh, realize that you, no matter how much you try, you will never be able to satisfy everybody what is important here is to satisfy those which are supporting you those that are not supporting you they should become totally irrelevant to what you are doing or to what you are trying to achieve here so you can improve your circumstances for example your parents aren't supporting you that should not stop you all right or your husband or your or your wife is not supporting you through your development into your career that should not be important or your friends are not supporting you with the new crush that you do have that should not be important you know all that you, that all that you should be important here is what you want you know what you find amusing what gives you vigor what gives you interest where your temper is dragging you toward and on top of that you know you should have that unyielding standpoint that you deserve to be happy and you deserve to be successful very very important one more thing here with these cards is that you may kind of have that boosted uh, how can i place it uh warmongering uh, for the lack of better terms so you are going to um ignite like a match uh, if you are confronted and that could provoke wrangles you know it could provoke uh, fights and very misfortunate um, kind of like situations with people with family members with lovers and etc etc that's why it's very important to keep your calm to be patient to to have your um, self i don't know the english term about that so try to explain it it's kind of like knowing that you uh, that you are right and not having the, the, the feel of necessity to prove it into others. You know, you, you should not care what others, what others think of your, um, of your intentions and of what you want to achieve for yourself. Because again, you are achieving it for yourself, you're not achieving it for others. And again, no matter how much you try, you will never be able to please all that are around you so why don't this time around erases don't uh, you try to please yourself instead the next card that we do have here that is to be the six of cups which is the um guidance the tarot is offering to you and the six of cups it's a very petite card as a standpoint i mean it's a very how can i place it light-hearted card the Six of Cups here represents the indulgement of one's, uh, of one's toils and, and of one's um, um, efforts. So this card points that you should indulge yourself or rather um, invest or, or I just forgot the word, I'm sorry guys. Uh, involve yourself into those kind of enterprises and activities which you are finding amusing and which you are finding very, uh, how can I place it, I, um, 
a very satisfiable on your behalf. So whatever you are finding annoying and whatever you are finding um, uh, like aggravating and, and like poignant for your existence, it should not be something that you should kind of like invest in and uh, involve yourself in as well. So if you don't like that person into your, um, into your social circle, you should not feel obliged to talk with them or to spend time with them. You don't like to go uh, on a cinema with your husband or with your wife, well then let them go alone. You should not feel obliged to do it, all right? You, you are not feeling, you, you don't like, for example, to, to drink coffee every morning with that co-worker, then you should not um, feel yourself obliged to do it just so you can keep the good manners, all right? Again, remember, here is all about leaving all that undate, uh, outdated code of conduct, understandings, perceptances, and the way we do things so we can instead substitute them or replace them with a, a attitudes and a new code of conduct that this time around are to give us the very, uh, f the very foundation through which we are to start improving our circumstances or you Aries are to start improve your circumstances the ten of wands here points that even though <clears throat> you are to involve yourself into or it is advisable for you to involve yourself with all those um, you know pleasant enterprises and activities you should not forget your chores and you should not forget your responsibilities under involving yourself with uh, ever, with only only these things that you like is um, is true for your personal time, for the responsibilities, promises, and uh, all the tasks that you have taken under your wings, uh, even though they you may find them aggravating at a certain point, you know, you have to involve yourself in. And at some of them, you are to find that they are not the ideal thing that you should be in agreed on, but you nonetheless, you had uh, agreed yourself on it and you have to develop it to its very end and yet that card points that you can balance those um, those annoying activities by uh, counter by countering them with a, a pleasant experiences in your free time <clears throat> so I suggest you Aries throughout that uh, month to as much as you can to, to indulge yourself with those kind of things that you personally like, not what other people like, but what you personally like. And at the end, of course, we do have the Seven of Wands, which points that not everybody is going to like your new standpoint and especially your attempt to improve your personal circumstances, which is understandable. Here we are seeing rivals, we are seeing competition, and we are seeing people that are opposing you with the Seven of Wands. Followed by the World card. Now, very important here, we do have the where the masks are falling down. You are to realize who are standing on on your side and who are against you. We do have a standpoint here of the situation where either you are with me or you are against me and not necessarily that you are going to be the one that are going to take that standpoint but the people that are around you or some of those people that are around you are to make you take that standpoint unfortunately even though you may not be um, uh, it, it may not be of your liking, but yet again, I don't think that that is going to be the case because we do have here the affinity of warmongery. So what we do have here with the Seven of Wands in the World card, it is a typical uh, point of a liberation, uh, realizing, you know, who is your true friend and who isn't. Who is the one who is ready to follow you to the very ninth circle of hell and who isn't, who is, who is just there, you know, to take advantage of you and to use you and then to throw you away or to dump you off um, or to forlorn you, <clears throat> for that matter. These cards here are pointing, all right, uh, just give me a second to systemize my ten my sentence here so I don't sound stupid. Um, well, they are pointing, guys, that the more 
attention you pay to those people more than it's needed the uh, the less progress you are to have with those improvements here that the the month is giving you as a tendencies all right so instead of constantly explaining yourself instead of constantly trying to prove something that even if you do prove it no one is to acknowledge it or none of these people here who are opposing you is to acknowledge it instead of that what you should do or what is advisable to do when you do have that um, that combination every time when a, a gossip is spreading by the way these people were working mainly through gossips so every time when a gossip spreads and every time when a rumor is start suffusing the environment you should do whatever you can at the very first initial stage to make things clear for everybody that is involved in there so for example if a rumor that you are sleeping with someone is spreading out and is suffusing the environment just for example that you're sleeping with I don't know, a co-worker of yours, that is just an example again, uh, you should do whatever you can in its, in its initial stage to prove that that is wrong, but after you prove that it is wrong, you should not pay attention to it any longer, right? So that is very, very important. So you should intercept the, uh, the ill intention here and the sabotage from its very fetus type stage but as soon as you overcome it there you should not address it any longer but you should liberate yourself because the more you address it the more energy drain that thing drains from you and the less energy you do have to incorporate here with the uh, as i said with the attempts and not they are not going to even be attempts but the opting of improving your circumstances so that being said, Aries, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for January 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And again, in case you're interested in a private reading with me, uh, my website is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And if you have any inquiries, please um, let me know as my email also is going to be listed down below. So yeah, we are going to see each other next time and until then, bye.